Today, I'd like to talk about elderly patients, who are very common in cases. Multiple spinal stenosis, can elderly patients be treated as well? In our super age society, where the average age range is from 76 to 80 years old and over 20% of the population is over 65. It's common to encounter elderly patients suffering from stenosis among spinal diseases. Firstly, I want to explain what spinal stenosis is. You have probably watched YouTube videos about spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis is when the nerves in our spinal canal are compressed in the neck, back, waist or anywhere in the body. Stenosis, characterized by the narrowing of nerve passages it can happen in the neck, back and waist symptoms of stenosis can be similar. Common symptoms of stenosis include pain and stiffness in the legs, walking disability. All those symptoms are spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis is the most common spinal disorder. Just know that it can occur anywhere. Most patients report back pain, leg pain to me. In more severe cases, patients may experience significant difficulty walking altogether. In most cases, spinal stenosis occurs somewhere within the spine. It can also occur in multiple locations. Symptoms may vary, but their similarity underscores the importance of an accurate diagnosis. For example, a 75-year-old woman mentioned visiting several hospitals without receiving a definitive diagnosis before seeking assistance at our facility. Evaluating not only the back but also the lumbar, spine, and cervical areas for any abnormalities is crucial. Symptoms may extend to the legs, necessitating MRI or other diagnostic tests for accurate identification. It's disheartening to learn that some individuals undergo treatment, including injection therapy, at other facilities without achieving resolution, only to seek assistance when they have almost given up hope. While non-surgical approaches may be considered, persisting symptoms warrant consideration of surgical intervention for resolution. Age should not deter individuals from considering surgery as a viable option for improving their health and quality of life. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle in one's 70s, 80s, and beyond is crucial. Having a strong mindset is key to overcoming any doubts and embracing the opportunity for a healthier and longer life. Also, discussing surgical options with family members and providing mutual encouragement can help individuals feel more confident about their decision. Advancements in medical technology have made treatments more diverse and minimally invasive procedures possible, leading to more effective outcomes with minimal incisions and reduced risks. A recent case at our hospital involved a 100-year-old patient who had been unable to walk for four to five months after seeking treatment at other facilities. Upon diagnosis of stenosis not in the back but in the thoracic, we performed a minimally invasive procedure with a small incision in the thoracic area. Despite the long-term nerve compression, the patient experienced significant improvement in mobility and was discharged after all symptoms were resolved. This patient's determination to seek treatment at our hospital is commendable and reflects a strong mindset that can contribute to a longer and healthier life potentially extending beyond 100 years old and even reaching 120 years old. Prioritizing the quality of life becomes paramount. This entails living healthily and happily, which can be significantly impacted by spine diseases such as stenosis. I urge individuals not to delay their treatment and emphasize the importance of having a resilient mindset in improving their quality of life.